so I'm going to find a person here who shot a gun. And I'm guessing this guy's been the victim of a gunshot, not somebody that shot a gun. Um, sir, have you ever shot a gun before? First, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, Joe Farrar. And where are you from? Auburn, New York. And have you ever shot a gun before? Yeah, a lot of times. A lot of times. Tell me some of the times you shot a gun. Uh, shot him in the Marine Corps. Shot him in the Marine Corps. Now, when you joined the Marine Corps, is that the first time you shot a gun, or had you previously? No, I shot him growing up with my dad. Okay. We used to go out shooting for target shooting for something to do. All right. Did you ever hunt with guns, or is just target shooting? Not a lot of hunting, but occasionally. Okay. So how many times did you say you shot a gun in your life? Uh, several thousand. I mean, talking rounds. Oh. Several <laughs> thousands of rounds. Gotcha. Times going on, going shooting, several hundred. Ever any accidents during shooting? No. Like a dick chain anything? Okay. No, you gotta be. I mean, there's, you gotta respect guns, and you gotta really always treat them like like they're uh, like they can kill you. If you um. Can. When you get careless, that's when accidents happen. So even when you shot a gun for the first time, and you were probably were you a teenager or were you younger than that? Probably about 10. And even then, you were pretty respectful of, wow, this is a powerful thing and it could hurt somebody. Yeah. Okay, cool, thanks. We, oh, wait, what? You started to say something. Oh, we, I mean, we had guns hanging in, in our living room on a rack, and I was taught I never touched them unless my father was around, and then, and then you know, he taught me how to properly handle them. But. Was your father a hunter or a gun collector? Why did he have a rack of them? No, he hunted occasionally, but just mainly he had grown up with them. And All right. It was, just, it was a good father-son thing to do. Cool. Sounds like something Ted Nugent would say. It's a good father or son. <laughs> Thanks, sir.